Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to the 7th of March. Down in the 20s again this morning. That's, but it quickly warms up. It's like 36, 37 already. But everything, all the water bowls for the dogs, everything's all frozen. <laughs> all right, Mama, let's row. All right, Woman, it's uh -huh. 10 degrees warmer. Looks about the same weather-wise. Nice mm -hmm. drive, no crazy people. All went smooth today coming to work. Look at that bad boy. Anyway, I'm gonna head on down. I got right. lots of stuff to do. All right. See you at the water. All right. right. Love. See you. Bye. Love. All right. Bye. bye bye. Man, look how much of that snow is gone. Just, just overnight, and it got down well below freezing. It's amazing how quick that that stuff can go beautiful out here today though even though it's not you can tell it's just kind of like a fog layer up there it's gonna get real nice it's supposed to be almost 60 again today Indian has a really cool video that plays over there on their screen I guess they call that Black Hills Silver man what they go through with this thing is pretty cool showing them building it showing them painting and prepping the tank it's really awesome that's really cool. Black Hills Silver. That's that video talking about the, and it's that done at the Black Hills facility over 30 hours in the paint job on that thing. That's impressive. One other little tidbit about that Indian Chieftain Elite is there's only 199 other ones in existence ever. They only make 200 of them. I didn't know that either. Well, if it takes 30 hours to paint it, it's pretty, uh, pretty exclusive. Cool stuff, man. That crazy kid of mine's got a whole fleet of motorcycles he's got to take upstairs. He goes, Pop. He goes, you want to help me bring some of these bikes upstairs? And I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> So I threw my camera on right quick and thought I'd take you guys right along with me. Man, these CRF 250Ls. Definitely something that should be sitting around the house. Of course, I'd probably ride as much as I do my DR. Well, how much, you know, with mods and stuff, what, what kind of, oops, wrong gear. What kind of power you can get out of one of these things? I mean, they're more than enough to get you around, but uh, I would want just a little more out of it. I say that, but I'd probably never change anything. All right, round two. sharing the same motors you want to follow me yeah, I'll follow you for you guys that way you see one being ridden and one being rode <laughs> the old 500 rebel The parallel twins just naturally have a cool sound to them. <laughs> it's cool. Lights stand. A little nub in a different spot. Since we're showing you Polaris stuff upstairs, let's continue the Polaris line. Check this crazy thing out. 
And this is the way it comes. All glass windows, completely sealed cabin. Glass up front, windshield wiper. Nice roof. The, oh, the thing has full air conditioning and heating in it. This thing is like an automobile. Is that thing cool or what? Here, let me get you a shot. I would have, oh, I keep hitting that, that bar. That's what it looks like driving down the road. Boy, I bet you this thing is some kind of spindy. That's what I kept hitting with my elbow. Yeah, just pull right up in here. I step on in. I can haul five people safely and securely. <laughs> Man, you hear a solid that door shuts. Dual overhead cam, twin cylinder, parallel. Look how everything is sealed. I mean, this thing's weather sealed. Tight as a tick. All right. I gotta go finish up my work in here. So check this out. Taking you for a ride in this bad boy. That's full on air conditioning, isn't it? That's fantastic. Wow, this thing's cool. Jeez, it's got good power too. Thanks for the ride, Brian. Yep. There she is. Let's pull the bag off of this thing, see what she looks like. Man, oh man. be the goodie box. I was reading the setup instructions on here. Gotta be very careful taking that box off. Bike must be covered. Man, that there's something else. Surprised how small the crate is. Wow, that's really cool. I'm I'm telling you right now, these F700 GSs, and I don't know if it's considered, I don't remember if it's considered a low chassis or what, but this thing's like super low to the ground. That is one of the sleepers in the motorcycle world right there. That is the funnest bike. Holy moly, and the motor's just so smooth. It just purrs. Oops. Isn't that good? Ah, oh, she's just so nice. It's so pleasing to ride. Oh man, I would live on one of these. The F700, remember the one? Kelly could even put both feet on the ground on this thing. It was a black one or a red one last year or year before, whenever that was. I'm telling you, that's a sleeper. That's a. That's a diamond in the rough that hasn't been discovered yet. Well, they've sold so many of these, I'm sure a lot of people have discovered it, but new to me. Every time I ride one of these things, I'm going, man, one of these days, that needs to be sitting in my garage. Yeah, you're looking pretty good. 
or uh, I just took the bag off to inspect for any damage. Our Honda rep is going to be here tomorrow. Wants to go over it with us when we're taking it out. So from here, I'm not supposed to touch it. You know what's interesting about it? his name is Norm. That's all I'll tell you. But his dad is the one that that trained me for uh, for Honda back in the 80s. And I remember Norm running around there. Here's just a little kid. I I clearly remember him. His dad was really really cool. He's uh he's unfortunately he's he's left us now. But what a real cool guy. And Norm, it's just like his dad, really cool. All right. They need to have one of those around the corner over here. <laughs> but look at this. All the beauty of that sunshine. She done slipped away on us. But I guess it is supposed to rain tomorrow. That's all right. The weekend's supposed to be nice. That's what's important. Well, little woman, yes, I think the drive home is not going to be as beautiful, as it was. maybe even wet, as what we came in. That's all right. Important thing is, they keep saying the weekend's supposed to be nice. Yeah, that's important. Get out and ride something. And the clock changes. Yeah. Well, for Sunday anyway, but that'll be the beginning of nice long days. Well, well hello there, you two. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you had a wonderful day. My day was good. Sounds like you were pretty busy. Yeah. Man, it's going crazy. Man, I mean yeah. nuts. It's like summertime in there, just like, go, go, go. Oh, I know. <laughs> There's tons of stuff coming in. Yeah. They're getting all their accessories. We're getting bikes coming in. and It's been crazy. That gold wing. Gotta wait for the Honda rep to be there tomorrow. There's some stuff he wants to go over. He wants to take it out. All right. So I read through most of the bulletin on it, the uh, setup instructions. and There's a, quite a few warnings in there because you, know, you could scratch something and you know how you take it out of the crate and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, it looks pretty straightforward. There's some setup stuff with the key and the fob, as it may be, the tire pressure monitoring system. And so, anyway, we'll get all through that. And guess what it's going to do? It's going to pour down rain tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to ride that Goldwing. Oh, That'll course. just bum me out. <laughs> oh, well. It happens. Yeah. We'll get to ride one for sure. Maybe we'll get a break. I don't know what the rain is. Yeah, I don't know. What I can't the percent or it could be. You know, it is in Vancouver supposed to pour down rain and sun's out you know oh i know it it could change from one minute to the next yeah it's crazy but uh yeah that, a lot of polaris stuff i showed you today talked about that elite a little bit more and took you for a drive and that xp that was fun oh cool yeah i see that thing i think it's like it's like a car inside there air really? conditioning heating really? all kinds of stuff i haven't even got to sit in one yeah i think it's nice brian rode me up Oh. Up the hill, and that was fun. Way but, cool. Uh, yeah, cool stuff. All right. I think we're going to call it a, 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 just a quickie tonight. All right. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. All right. All right. All right. Dogs are flat freaking out. Yeah, they're having chizzy chizzies. <laughs> <laughs> just going nuts. <laughs> yeah, the excitement when we get home. Oh, of course. Yeah. All right, we'll talk to you guys bright and early in the morning. You guys have a wonderful night. All right, we'll see you. Bye bye now.